What up, though? So, I just had the opportunity to uh, talk to a homeless guy. And uh, bless his heart. And you know, it's hot out here. And uh, his, he said to me, and this blessed me, every time I see him, because he, he's an encouraging guy, you know, despite what he's dealing with or what have you. Uh, he say, it's hot out here, huh? I say, yes, sir. I say, thank God for salvation, huh? He said, yeah, thank God we ain't pushing up blazes. You see, at some point, you got to be appreciative of life and breath and the activity of your limbs. Uh, we can't be out here in these streets looking at what we're looking at because all the stuff we're looking at, a lot of this stuff is staged in order to get an emotion and a rise out of the people. And if people buy into it, you know, they can linger it along and have folks focusing on whatever they're focusing on and not focusing on the main thing, combating the main thing, and the kind of the main thing is the enemy of our souls and our children's souls. So, focus, man. Jesus is, you know, I don't know when. We don't know when, because this world been here as long as it's been here. A long time, sugar. And uh, we just got to trust God when we can't trace him. Love him. Well, love the Lord that God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and love your neighbors yourself. Because guess what? You can have all the things in the world, material things, money, you know. But after you close your eyes and your heart stop pumping, sugar, you know, that stuff going to go to whoever it go to. You know, you can't, you can't take it with you. That's all I'm saying. So we focus on worldly possessions and worldly things and worldly goods trying to make a name for ourselves. But we don't focus on, the, and those things are temporal. But we don't focus on the main thing. The main thing is throwing up the treasures in heaven. Things that the most cases break in and steal. Things that are eternal. Things that the devil can't, you know, he can't break in and steal. Because when you stir up prayer and worship and praise, you know, he inhabits the praises of his people. So God, take that thing. So when you're in a place of obscurity and you don't know what to do or whatever, whatever, whatever going on, life, life, and those prayers, and you can't pray. Sometimes you're in a place where you just can't, you just can't say nothing. Those prayers that you've been storing up will sustain you to get you over that little hump, because it's just a little hump. These minor things, the things we go through are just temporal. It ain't, nothing is eternal as far as, you know, life circumstances. Because things change every day, all day, every day. For real. People go through stuff all day, every day. And you just gotta know where your heart lies. Know where your spirit lies. And as long as you anchored in Jesus, ain't nothing, you know, all is well. Like the woman that you love, you might want she ain't want no child. She wasn't thinking about no child. They had everything, huh? Her. But the prophet wanted to bless her. So they found out she didn't have a child. So he prayed to God and the Lord said, Here, give me a child. Well, you know, she had a child. The child died. And uh, she was like, Yo, you know, I ain't asked for this. I'm gonna need you to come fix this. It's baby dad. I ain't telling you to send me to give me no baby so they get down on me. What the hell wrong with you? Prophet, I love you though. You know, but we got a problem. I'm gonna need you to come fix this. She went, Prophet went with her. Ooh, la da ba se te carostia. Prophet laid on the baby. Mouth to mouth. Out of eye. She knows, knows. Need to breathe the bless, the ruach of God in him. And the baby came back to life. See, that's how it happens with situations, circumstances, things the people. When you're around, they don't see what, good, what God say that you're supposed to do when they can't see what God is doing in you but they can't see your worth in the spirit they're looking at you in nature and they don't know that you're a giant out here in these streets they're looking at what they think with the natural mind the natural mind they not understand it's not a thing from the spirit nor can it so the natural mind looking at it one way it's just like God say look look on the, where's David because I refused him you know I made him you know, look some type of way where he don't look like what he's supposed to be doing, who he is, but he's all of that near something. So, David, you know, became, he anointed David to be king. See, don't look at his outer appearance. Men look at the outer appearance, God look at the heart of a person. God look at the heart of a person. So, chosen ones, don't be worried, I hear these 
country with everything that's going on. There's a lot going on. Whole lot. Whole lot of just, you know, <laughs> actors acting. Whole lot of actors acting. Notice, they got a whole lot of actors. They hiring baby actors. Actors of all ages. Yeah. To do their business in there. They don't know that they're in the acting script until whatever happens, happens. You know, on the, in real life. Or they portray it to be so. You gotta look at the clues, colors, calculations, time, conclusion. The numbers tell everything. Anyway, trust God when you can't trace it. Believe the Lord God, thy God, and so shall you prosper. Believe it's prosperous, so shall you be established. I ain't saying I'm a prophet, but you know, the Lord be talking sometimes. So, I love y'all. Trust God when you can't trace them. Love the Lord that God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do me and Lady D, the truth seeker. Blessings and favor, strength of God. One love. It's only one love. Kingdom of God in heaven. Straight up. That's me. The Lord, Lady D. The truth seeker.